let's get to the videos. Hey. Uh, hey, I'm gonna go. Hello? coming from I haven't been home since yesterday what's going on can anyone hear us with the door shut no of course not is your office soundproof is it soundproof Cindy Alyssa I see clients in here all the time I can assure you no one can hear us and more importantly no one is listening now tell me what's wrong Okay, um, if I tell you something, do you promise to keep it confidential? Are you retaining me as legal counsel? What, Cindy? You know I can't afford to hire you right now. Just tell me you're retaining me as legal counsel. Okay, but I... I Alyssa, just tell me. Okay, fine, yeah, I'm retaining you as my, my legal counsel, my lawyer. Okay. Now anything you tell me is covered under attorney-client privilege. Okay, start from the beginning. Um... That sounds like something more for a therapist than a lawyer. He was dead. What? He was dead. I'm sorry, what? Can you please stop saying what? You're sure? Yeah, I'm pretty positive he wasn't moving. There was blood. Okay. Tell me everything. Okay, uh, th there's not much to tell. That's the thing. I, I, I just woke up, and I, I was in bed with this guy, and I tried to wake him up. I tried to wake him, and he, did, he didn't move, and he was... And you don't know how you got there or who he was? <sighs> Alyssa, I have to ask, did you... What, kill him? 
Of course not. Then why didn't you call the cops? Because I, I looked in his wallet. And do you know who Fletcher Doyle is? The billionaire investor? You woke up in Fletcher Doyle's bed? Yeah. How do you know him? I, I don't. I don't think I do. Okay, I still don't understand why you didn't call the police right away. Because I'm scared, Cindy. I was scared. Do you know how bad this looks? A high-profile billionaire winds up dead in bed with some strange guy. Alyssa, as your lawyer, I am telling you to go to the police. Now. They'll understand why you were frightened at first. And as your friend? I tell you the exact same thing. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. There's nothing to think about. It's the smart thing, the only thing to do. This looks bad. Yes, this looks bad. That's why you have to turn yourself in. No, no, I, I can't. I, I need to get more information. I need to figure out how I can explain. You remember that? Yeah, hiking Driftwood Canyon. You made me a photo album of that trip. Yeah, I have one for myself. You remember how many times I wanted to turn back? <laughs> yeah, plenty. But you wouldn't let me. You said, if we keep going, we'll make it. This isn't a hike, Alyssa. This is real life. It's not enough to be brave. You have to be smart. Keller. Yeah. Can I borrow you? Get a chance to look at this whole place yet? No, not yet. What do you think a place like this goes for? <laughs> I don't know, Alan. I'm not a real estate agent. I was talking to Willis, and he was trying to tell me exactly, you know, what this guy did to make all his money. <laughs> it made no sense. Yeah, that's Rex. All right, over here. Two glasses, both with visible fingerprints. Forensics already dusted and bagged them. All right, good. You ever try that? It's good? Nah, it's not $800 good. <laughs> All right. Must be nice. Anyway, and because of the two glasses, I figure there were only two people here last night. Doyle and whoever he came back with. It wasn't like he was having some rager wreaking havoc. Rager? Yeah. Large party. Whatever. I'm trying to stay young. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I like it. Right. What else? Well, this is obvious. Yeah? But this isn't. When we arrived, the door was closed but unlocked. Yeah, so whoever did this didn't have the key. Exactly. But there was no sign to forced entry. Door frame is intact. Lock is in perfect working order. Mm, so they were invited in. Yes. Doyle shut it off. Or was never turned on in the first place. Sure. But the alarm got me thinking. I mean, this is a simple system. My parents have this system. If you're a billionaire, wouldn't you want better security? <laughs> I don't know. You'd think so. I looked everywhere inside of the house for other cameras. There were none. No cameras in the house except for that security camera pointed right at the front door. Uh-huh. And the weird thing, detective, it was never actually turned on. So, that's the question, right? I can't figure out an answer to it. You are a billionaire. You have a lot of valuable stuff, things you might want to protect. You mean like a billionaire who doesn't want a record of what is coming in and out of his house late at night? Time of death? Sometime last night. I won't know for certain until we get him to the morgue. Cause? Again, I won't know for certain until we Best get him. Best guess. He was stabbed with a sharp object. Single blow, straight to the heart. A knife? Most likely. So I'm guessing we didn't find a murder weapon, huh? Nope. All right. Thanks, McGuire. Hopefully we find our guy soon. A detective. It could be a woman. Where do you say that? Did you find any, uh... And as you know, a single stab wound through the heart usually indicates a crime of passion. And so... Maybe it was a romantic evening gone wrong. Yeah, wrong's an understatement. <laughs> it's a shame, too. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah, was. Still is. 
All right, McGuire. Call me if you find anything else. We'll do. Hey, Willis. Yes, sir. You took the call on this? Yes, sir. All right. Walk me through it. Well, this man Doyle, he had an important meeting early this morning. Where? At his office. When he didn't arrive, his employees got worried. They said he would never miss a meeting unless something was wrong. We found him like this. Did you reconsider? No, but Cindy, listen, I found something. What's that? Um, I, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I checked my text messages and phone calls from that night. And? And they're gone. What do you mean they're gone? They've been deleted. The only text messages and phone calls I have are from this morning. And you didn't delete them? Did you give anyone your password? No, no, of course not. But if someone was with me, they could have used my fingerprint. Are text stored on the cloud? If the cloud is on, which mine usually is, but it was turned off. Someone definitely didn't want me seeing my messages. I don't know what to tell you, Alyssa, other than what I already said. We need to go to the cops. I didn't call or text you, did I? If you had, I would have told you. Right, yeah. Okay, uh, thanks, Indy. Bye. We lifted some usable prints from the glasses on the bar. There were two sets. One was Doyle's, of course, and the other one we just couldn't identify. Mm. And there was something else. Fletcher Doyle never had sex that night. How do you know that? Medical examiner confirmed it. What about the victim's phone? It's with his personal effects and evidence. I need to see that. Yes, sir. Browser history. Here you go, sir. Phone's inside. Yes, sir. It's already a bag with the passcode written on the front. Is there anything else, sir? No, that's it, Willis. You can, uh... Montparnasse. Can I get you? Uh, information, I hope. Uh oh, I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry, the only one who would get in trouble is me. Okay, um, shoot. Do you recognize me? <laughs> it's one of those nights, huh? Um, so I wasn't working last night, so. Uh, if I gave you my credit card, could you run it? Run it? Yeah, and just, um, see if I was here. I'm sorry, Miss Alyssa Morgan, but my system doesn't really work like that. Sorry, I wish I could help you. That's all right. Thanks.
Hey, you feeling okay? After last night, I was a little bit worried. Do you know me? Well, I recognize you from last night. Although I, I can't you feel any better. Was I with anyone? Yeah, you sure were. And he was a cutie. Um, if I show you a picture of the man I was with, would you recognize him? Mm-hmm, you bet. Is this him? Yeah, that's him. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm good with faces. He had a nice one. Did you see me leave with him? I didn't. In fact, I, uh, I thought he stiffed me, but he didn't seem like the type. What do you mean? Well, I went to bring the check, but you guys were gone. Like I said, Done. didn't even see the bill. I should get back. Um, thank you. Hey, what can I get you? You seen this man? <laughs> well, we got a two-for-one special for information today. Excuse me? Sorry, a, a lady came in here earlier, asked me if I seen her here last night, but uh, I told her I wasn't working. Did you catch her name? She asked me to run her card, so yeah, I saw her name. Oh. Do I get anything for helping, or...? Yeah, the satisfaction in knowing you did your civic duty. Alyssa Morty, with an A. X. Mm-hmm.
Positive. Checked everywhere. Okay, so how do you explain the door being open? Maybe you left it open? No, this was the last place I was before I went upstairs. I would have noticed that. Maybe the wind blew it open. Been pretty windy out lately. My doors don't just blow open, officer. And even if they did, the door was locked. I always lock it. This had to be a break-in. Any idea who? I mean, isn't that your job to figure out? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Miss Morgan. We just don't have any evidence of a break-in here. Lock isn't broken. There's no forced entry on the door frame. Bell's boyfriend, angry co-worker. Has anything odd or out of the ordinary happened to you recently? Miss Morgan. No, no. Well, then I'm afraid there's not much we can do. Maybe think about putting in an alarm system. Hmm? Might make you feel a little bit better. Lock the door, try to get some rest. Have a good night, Miss Morgan. Thanks. They're the same. You sure? Take a look yourself. There's no doubt about it. The prints that you told me to run are identical to the ones that we found at the Doyle residence. So who's are they? Woman named Alyssa Morgan. Alyssa Morgan? You know her? No, but I know the name. How? You haven't read the overnights, have you? Been a little busy, Willis. Well, Alan was called out to her house late last night. To whose house? To Alyssa Morgan? But according to his report, Alan couldn't find anyone. Can't just be a coincidence. I wouldn't think so. Also, toxicology came back on Fletcher. And? Well, hypnol. He was roofied. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I'm going to pay Alyssa Morgan a visit. Thank you for meeting me. Of course. That's what friends and lawyers are for. I still think you're making a big mistake, though. It's not too with Fletcher that night. How do you know? Because whoever deleted my texts and calls forgot about browser history. I had looked up the address to a restaurant, so I went there, and the waitress recognized me. She said I was drinking with Fletcher. But you said you don't know him. I don't. Maybe I met him that night. Look, Alyssa, if you really don't remember anything, he might have drugged you. The police will understand that. Why? With what proof? Because it happens all the time, unfortunately. Do you know how many cases we get that deal with women who get roofied? <laughs> I have no idea. And neither do you. That's the point. Look, there's something else. Someone broke into my house last night. Alyssa, are you okay? Yeah, fine. Did you get a good look at them? No, and by the time the cops arrived, he was long gone. Cindy, I don't know what's going on, but all of these things, they have to be connected. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to find out how. speak with you did you catch him who the prowler from yesterday 
Oh, um, no. Afraid we haven't. May I come in? Yeah, come on in. Um, have a seat. Can I get you something to drink, or...? No, I'm fine. Okay. I understand you had a conversation with one of my colleagues yesterday. Detective Allen? Yeah, I don't think he believed a word I said. Sure, that's not the case. Um, tell me, Miss Morgan. Oh, you can call me Alyssa. Alyssa. You don't have any idea who the intruder might have been? Your guess is as good as mine. You received any threats? No. And you haven't met anyone new recently? Not that I can think of. Well, why don't you walk me through the last couple days? I don't see how that could be helpful. Oh, it might help you remember something. Okay, um... I did what I always do. I work. I have friends. Which friends? I don't remember. You don't remember? That seems kind of odd. No? I mean, this was just the night before last. What was? The night in question. You're not here to follow up about the intruder, are you? Where were you two nights ago, Alyssa? Look, I didn't kill him, okay? Why don't you tell me what happened? I, 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 I don't... It's that night. We know that you were there. Anything you can tell me right now will only help you. Uh, can I call a lawyer? Sorry? I, I want to talk to my lawyer. I don't think you need one of those. Do you? Am I being arrested? No. No. We're just talking. Then I don't have to answer your questions. <laughs> Alyssa, I know you probably don't believe me right now, but I'm only trying to help you. By entrapping me? That's not what's happening here. You don't have enough evidence. You were There's plenty of evidence. I, um... I just have to use the bathroom really quick. It's Keller. I need an APB on a suspect. Alyssa Morgan. Inside? Thank you. Just answer me, Roger. Is there anyone in there? No, there shouldn't be. Can I come inside and talk to you? Alyssa, what's going on? Please, Roger, can I come in? It's important. Yeah, okay, yeah. Isn't it a little early for that? Not for the day I'm having. <sighs> Why didn't you just call? I didn't know who might be listening. What? 
Have you heard of Fletcher Doyle? I don't just read the financial news, Alyssa. Okay, so you know that he was murdered? Of course. I'm the main suspect. <laughs> okay. Okay, Alyssa, I don't have time for this no, right now. No, just, just listen. Okay. Sorry. On the night he was murdered, I woke up in his bed. I don't remember anything else. To Cindy? Of course, she's my lawyer. What did she say? She wants me to turn myself in. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, for once, I actually agree with her. No, I can't turn myself in. I'm being framed, Roger. But I don't know why. Well, can't you just stay with her until this whole thing's sorted out? No, she, I, I can't stay with Cindy. She's my lawyer, sure, but she can't hide me. She knows the cops are looking for me. That's harboring a suspected felon. I googled it. Okay, so... I'm supposed to harbor you? Is that it? Well, if it came down to it, you could just claim that you didn't know and it wasn't important. Have you told her? About us? No, of course not. And it was a few times and it was stupid. It didn't feel stupid to me. I mean, besides, Cindy and I were over. Alyssa, you know that. You didn't do anything wrong. I don't think she would see it that way. She'd want you to be happy, wouldn't she? I just need a friend right now, okay? Can you do that? Can you just be my friend, Roger? Welcome back. And now for our top story, the murder of billionaire investor Fletcher Doyle. We're fortunate to be joined by Bill. Serena, thank you so much for being here with us today. It's my pleasure. I, uh, I still can't believe this is real. I know this must be very hard for you. Now, you and Fletcher Doyle were married. Actually, Sally, we're still married. We were separated, it's true, but... We were planning on getting back together. Neither of us wanted to get a divorce. We were hoping to work things out. I understand. Please, take a moment. Suspect in your ex, excuse me, in your husband's murder. I hope that's true. I do. But until I hear from the police themselves. So you have no idea why this person might have wanted to harm your husband? I have no idea why anyone would want to hurt Fletcher. He was, he was a wonderful man. He was, he was kind and generous. I just, I can't believe he's gone. We're so sorry, Serena. We hope the person responsible for this heinous crime is apprehended soon. Tell her it's Alyssa Morgan. Tell her it's an emergency. Yep. Miss Warren, I have Alyssa Morgan on the line. Put her through. Alyssa, where the hell are you? Cindy, don't worry. I'm safe for now. 
Listen to me. The police are about to name a suspect in the murder. You have to turn yourself in. I already met with the police. What? Without me? They came to my house. And what did you say? I ran. My God, Alyssa. Cindy, listen to me. Did you see the interview with Fletcher Doyle's wife? I saw it. Okay, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to put me in contact with If I knew how to reach her, what would this accomplish? She has to know something. If I could just talk to her, if I could convince her that I'm innocent, then maybe she could help me explain why this is all happening. Alyssa, this is a terrible idea. Please, Cindy. How can I reach you? You can't. I'll call you. Detective Keller. Take a look at this. Bag it. But what do you think, sir? We've got her. Send it to the lab. I want the blood tested against Fletcher Doyle's. Yes, sir. I'm glad you were able to get the warrant so fast. Yeah, Judge Abbott still owed me a favor from the Steiner case. I'll keep you posted on the... Hey, Alan. You were here last night. What's your take on Alyssa Morgan? She called about a potential intruder break-in. Checked everywhere, twice. Nothing out of the ordinary. She might be, I don't know, trying to throw us off, making herself the victim. Yeah. All right, thanks, Alan. Excuse me, please. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna talk. I need your help, please. Police are looking for you. I know. They think you killed that man. If I killed him, do you think I'd still be here? What do you want from me? You said you waited on us that night? Was there anyone else with us? No, it was just the two of you getting comfy, like I said. Uh, uh, what about her? Was she there? She definitely wasn't with you. About what? I didn't hear. And you had left the table while they were fighting. And when you say fighting? It, it wasn't a physical fight. But there was a lot of yelling and screaming. Enough that I noticed. Started to make other guests uncomfortable. And, and she initiated it? Yeah. She came right up to you all while you were having drinks. I mean, the guy was embarrassed. You could tell that much. I assume that is why he left such a big tip. You really didn't do it? No. Are you gonna call the cops when I leave? Thank you. Sir, it's his. Fletcher Doyle's blood is on the knife. What's wrong, sir? Willis. You just murdered somebody. It's the first thing you would do. Uh, I turned myself in. <laughs> Not questioning your morality, Willis. Say you wanted to get away with it. What would you do? Honestly, I'd probably get rid of the weapon. But what you wouldn't do is come home and hide it in your underwear drawer. Alyssa Morgan's prints were on the knife. That doesn't mean anything. We knew she was there, time of the murder. Prints were all over the place. Yeah, and on the murder weapon. Doesn't feel right, Willis. 
Alyssa Morgan went to the bar where she met Fletcher Doyle. Why'd she do that? She was looking for something. Yeah, why didn't she tell you that? Why did she run? She was scared. She's not stupid. She knows how this looks. If Alyssa Morgan didn't do it, then that means someone is trying. Detective Keller, come on in. I appreciate you taking the time to meet me, Miss Doyle. Oh, of course. Anything I can do to help you catch that woman? Woman? Well, that's the theory, isn't it? That's what they're saying on the news. Mm-hmm. Would you like some coffee? Oh, I never say no to coffee. Cream and sugar? Black, please. I should have guessed. You know, I saw your interview on TV, Miss Doyle. Yes. Like I said, whatever I can do to assist in the investigation. I thought it might help if people saw that Fletcher wasn't just some faceless billionaire, but that he was a loving family man. Oh, but you two were separated, though, no? It wasn't roses all the time, but we were planning on getting back together. I loved my husband very much. Oh, yeah, I uh, have no doubt. Are you married, detective? Divorced. <laughs> That's quite common in your line of work, isn't it? I would say it's rather common. Miserable the entire time. Sometimes I wonder if that might be better. <laughs> Careful, detective. You might burn yourself. Miss Doyle, did your husband have visitors come over to his house frequently? Oh, we would entertain from time to time, sure. Thank you. Um, I mean, somebody more regularly, like a uh, housekeeper, personal trainer, um, drug dealer, you know, anybody who would want to be paid in cash. I don't like what you're insinuating. We want the same thing. No, there's no one that I can think of. So you don't think Fletcher knew this person? I can't imagine anyone who knew Fletcher doing this. So he or she wouldn't stand to gain anything financially, would they? I assume not. Why? Oh, it's just um, typically in crimes of this nature, uh, the motive is financial. Um. Excuse me? Oh, I said, um, who stands to benefit? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Well, I mean, your husband was clearly a very wealthy man. Uh, surely all this money must go somewhere. Does it go to a trust, or philanthropy, or... Does it go to you? I am the beneficiary of my husband's estate. As are most wives, I would imagine. Oh, right. Of course. Is there something you'd like to ask me, Detective? Actually, yes. Did you and your husband have a... Like most couples with substantial assets, yes, they had a prenuptial agreement. And I'm sorry, just so I understand this, uh, if you were to get a divorce from your husband, you would stand to gain substantially less money than if he were to just suddenly pass away. I think I've answered all of your questions, Detective. Anything else you'd like to say to me, you can say to my lawyer. Of course. I want you to know one thing, Detective. It's killer. I'm happy to hear that, Serena. Me too. <sighs> Thanks for the coffee.
Keller. Hello? Detective Keller, this is Alyssa Morgan. Alyssa? Hey. Trying to trace the call. Despite what you see on TV, it's not that easy to do. Glad you called. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <sighs> Look, I know what you're probably thinking, all right? But I only want to help you. By arresting me? By clearing your name. But you're not making it easy. I didn't do it. I know that. I can't tell if you're telling the truth or if this is police work 101. Get the suspect to trust you. Why'd you run from me? I was scared. All right. That's understandable. But you called me for a reason. If it's not to turn yourself in, then what is it? Did you speak with Serena Doyle yet? Investigation with our chief suspect. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. And I'm sure you asked her if she knew me, and she probably said no, which is true. We don't know each other. Go on. But she was there that night at the restaurant with Fletcher. They got into an argument. How do you know this? The waitress from the restaurant told me. So, what do you think? I think it's good, but I need more proof. So go get it. You're the detective. I have to go. No, Alyssa, wait. Come in. If you do, I swear I'll do everything I can to protect you. Got it. Alyssa. Oh. Hey. Hey. Nice hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd mind. I don't know. Get any sleep? An hour or two. Any updates? Seems like everyone wants me to turn myself in. Cindy, the cops. What do you think? I think that there's something that I'm missing. There has to be a reason that whoever killed Fletcher chose me to pin this on. And you don't trust the cops to- Do you think I should turn myself in? I can't make that decision for you, Alyssa. Can I stay here tonight? You can stay here as long as you like. You know that. You're not worried about aiding and abetting? Me? Well, I don't know anything. I'm just an old friend needed a place to stay. Come on, it's all over the news. What is? Oh, that Fletcher Doyle was murdered? What's that have to do with you? You hungry? Yeah. Let's get some food. Uh, it's all right. I fall asleep on the couch most nights anyway, watching TV. Besides, someone needs to keep watch. I hear there's a fugitive on the loose. You really don't have to do this. Unless you're scared. You want some company? You might take our mind off of things. Can't blame a guy for trying. All right? You're a sweet man, Roger. Ma'am, I crossed a pair. Good night. Night, Alyssa.
You okay? Fine, fine, Just fine. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Where he went. Of course, I locked the doors. He must have picked the locks. None of the windows are busted. The alarm didn't go off. <sighs> hey, hey, look at me. You okay? You could have been killed. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm the one he wants. Alyssa. You need to think long and hard about going to the police. I can't protect you forever. Roger, something's wrong. What do you mean? I don't know. I just... <gasps> Roger, he's right there! Gone. We thought that last time, and then there he was in the kitchen. No. Oh. There's two of them. Two? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. There's no way he could have got back inside. I mean, not without me. I leave. I need you to call the police, okay? Tell them what? Tell them what happened. Like you said, I was just an old friend visiting. You had no idea I was on the run. Well, what about your car? I'll just leave it here. The police will be looking for it, so that could buy me some time. And you could just say that you didn't notice it until I was gone. Get yeah, this all figured out. I'm just figuring it out as I go. All right, well, come inside. I have something for you. Come on. I never thought I'd need it. Now. I should go. You'll have to change your clothes in my room from last time. Thank you, Roger, really, for everything. Of course. Careful. I'm not going to bother asking where you are. Good. And I'm assuming you're not calling to tell me you're turning yourself in? No, but I'm getting close to the truth. I know it. Alyssa. You know what I'm going to say? Cindy! I was attacked tonight. Attacked? Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm fine. Where were you? At your house? No, I was... I was with a friend. Alyssa, this is crazy. I can't keep helping you. I could be disbarred. Did you get Serena Doyle's number, Durs? Serena Doyle would have the resources to make that happen. Did you get it? No, but I got her address for you. Or at least the place she's staying. How? Well, even though the divorce papers weren't signed yet. They were filed, and they're in the public record. Serena's contact information was on them. Cindy, I owe you big time. You're not kidding. Okay, I'll text you the information. No, just tell me. Now, I, I have to ditch this phone as soon as I hang up. Hold on. <sighs> 211 Spruce Way. And Alyssa... I
so why didn't you call me right away? I did. Right after she left. And I understand that, Mr. Paulding. I'm asking you why you didn't call the police as soon as she arrived here at your house. Why would I? My friend stops by, says they're in trouble, need a place to stay. I mean, you don't call the police, you let them stay. Yeah. Not if they're a fugitive, though. I told you I didn't know she was under investigation, not until the break-in. I mean, she told me everything and I... Hey, I called you, detective. Right. Well, let's get back to these intruders. They didn't have any weapons? First one didn't. Second one didn't grab my fire poker. And you initiated contact with them both times with your golf club. People broke into my house. I mean, it was self-defense. Uh, what would you have done? Hey, hey, Mr. Felding. I'm not here to judge you. Just trying to get a clear picture. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I heard someone in the house, I grabbed my club. I keep... Did you get a good look at them? The intruders. No, they were both wearing ski masks. Dressed in all black? I mean, they must have had some sort of distinguishable features. Tall, heavy, short. No. No, just average height, average build, I guess. Oh, sorry, I gotta, I gotta take this. <clears throat> Hello? Roger, it's me. Oh. Hey, Mom. Why are you calling so early? Is someone there with you? Oh, good. I was worried something was wrong with Dad. Okay, I have Serena Doyle's address. I'm gonna go try to talk to her. I just wanted to tell you in case anything happens. Okay. Um, got it, Mom. Yeah, I got it. Hey, I was just about to jump in the shower, though. Let me give you a call back. Careful. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. Mothers, <laughs> he's checking in. Mr. Felding, if you know where Alyssa Morgan is, you need to tell me. Tell me now. You have my word. Thanks for your time. Yeah, sorry I couldn't be more help. Yeah. Let me uh, know if you hear anything. You do.
जी Do you know who I am? Mm-mm. It's your husband. You need to leave. No, please. I didn't do it. Just hear me out. I just want to talk, and then if you don't believe me, I will go to the cops myself. Please. Fine. Come in. Thanks for talking to me. I don't know why I'm even sitting here with you. Because you're not 100% sure I killed your husband, which I didn't. But you did sleep with him. Serena, can I call you Serena? I don't know, but it looks like it. Even though you knew, you have to believe me. Someone's trying to frame me. And why would somebody do that? That's what I'm hoping you can help me figure out. Me. I have no idea. I've never even seen you before. Well, you were there at the restaurant that night. You and Fletcher were arguing. <sighs> I didn't realize that was you. No offense, but I was more interested in my husband. What were you arguing about? I don't think that's any of your business. Could you at least tell me who might want him dead? Because someone wants me dead too. I was attacked. Yeah, sure. Can I ask you a question, Melissa? Of course. When you first saw Fletcher, what was your impression of him? Like I said, I don't know. I don't even remember anything. Hmm. You know, it is such a beautiful day out. We should go enjoy our drinks on the terrace. Yeah, okay. Wow. It's quite the view. I know. I don't come out here nearly as often as I should. You haven't touched your drink. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm just not feeling the best. You know, when I first met Fletcher, he was different. Different how? Before he built his empire, back when he was swimming in debt, thousands of dollars in student, and he was ambitious, and thoughtful, kind, and. Oh my god, when he looked at me, I swear I felt like I was the only woman in the room. So what happened? What always happens? Money. It changes people. Not always. Yes. Always. And and then I the person who had been with him from the beginning all of a sudden i became disposable i'm sorry i'm sure it wasn't all bad no it was worse look i have no idea who would want to kill my husband i would have already gone to the police and as far as the men who attacked you, I, maybe it wasn't even related. Uh, what is it? Um, I'm sorry. I just realized I have to go. Alyssa. I want to wait for my lawyer to get here. Alyssa, you came to me. I haven't put you in custody yet, and we both know that I could have. There's 
plenty of evidence. Circumstantial evidence. The murder weapon's not circumstantial. Look, the only reason that I'm not arresting you right now is because I want to hear what you have to say. I went to see Serena Doyle. I thought she might know something, something that would help me. Serena Doyle's trying to frame you. Yes. She told you this? No, of course not, but she slipped up. <sighs> I told her I was attacked. That's all I said. And then later in the conversation, she referenced the men who attacked me. How would she know there's two of them? Because uh, maybe it was just a figure of speech. No, she said men, plural. If she didn't know anything, she would have said man or person. She sent them. I know it. All right, look, even if I did believe you, I... <sighs> I need more proof than just a verbal slip up which has you so convinced, especially if I'm trying to arrest somebody as high profile as Serena Doyle. Me. You can't just walk That's I need lawyer. to see my client. Don't say another thing that she has already She's said. She's not to under you. arrest, Miss Warren. Cindy, it's Serena Doyle behind this. I know it. That's why I came. I was going to tell. Stop! Stop. And you, you know better. She came to me voluntarily. Anything she said to you is inadmissible. And unless you charge her right now, I'm taking her back to my house. At least I know she'll be safe there. Come on, Alyssa. You want to talk to her again? You contact me. Alyssa. I'll be in touch. I don't understand why you're so upset in there. Because, Alyssa, that detective is not your friend. And despite what he told you, he thinks you did it, and he was trying to trip you up. Yeah, but he can't trip me up because I didn't do it. You can't be so naive. I really appreciate you letting me stay. Well, until we find out who's really behind this, I don't want you staying at your house. Okay. I'll be just down the hall. Wait, you don't want your bed? No. This is the comfy bed. You need as much sleep as possible. Trust me, it's better. Okay. I know not to argue with my- Cindy? Yeah? Never mind. Okay. Alyssa, I didn't think you'd be up so early. Yeah, I, I couldn't really sleep. What are you doing home? Thank you. Where are you going? Um, I just thought I'd check in with Detective Keller. Why? You know, see how everything's going with the case. See if he's met with Serena Doyle? Huh. You don't know her, right, Cindy? How would I know her? 
How does anybody know anybody? Um, I should get going, though. I don't want to be in your hair. With that photo album? Yeah, I didn't think you'd mind. I think we better have a talk. Good, thanks. Sit down, Alyssa. You haven't been a very good friend, have you, Alyssa? How do you know? Something when I met her, she was Serena Glanville. When did you plan this? Well, Serena needed my help. Fletcher was going to leave her and leave her with nothing. Well, nothing comparatively. But if someone killed Fletcher, then she would get his money? Precisely. Minus my fee, of course. So that's what this is all about. Money. At first. But after you betrayed me, I figured it was the perfect way to kill two birds with one stone. You and Roger were over. Fine. I never thought you'd find out. <laughs> that, I believe, Alyssa. But don't worry. I took care of Roger, too. What? You seem surprised. But I couldn't just blame you entirely. After all, it takes two to tango. How did, you, how did you get me in the Fletcher Doyle's bed? Oh, that was the easy part. We knew Doyle would be at Mark Parnas that night. So we decided to set you up on a little blind date. Something special in your cocktail. Just to help you forget the night and a couple hours before, which is why I had to delete the texts and calls. I'm gonna tell the police. I'm gonna tell them everything, and they're gonna believe me now. At this point, they probably will. Which is why you're not leaving. Detective Keller, I think you wanna see this. Sir, pull up a driver's license for me. Cynthia Warren, now, and text me the address. Got it. Please, I didn't do anything to you. No, but you betrayed one of my oldest friends. And someone had to go down for Fletcher's murder. I mean, do you have any? Especially after everything he put me through. The lying and the cheating. I mean, how much can one woman take? You're not going to get away with this. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But I know one thing. If we let you go, we don't have a chance. I'm sorry, Alyssa. There's just no other way.
How's the neck? I'll live. Yeah. He absolutely will. And Cindy? She'll make it with some nasty scars as a souvenir. What about Serena? Ah, uh, she'll be fine. She might not be able to see clearly for a few days. What's going to happen to her? It's in the DA's hands now, but um, the evidence is overwhelming. And the money? Does she still inherit it all? I don't know. I just know wherever she's going, she's not going to have much use for it. Not that night. Cindy was there. She never mentioned it to you or me. It just didn't feel right. So what now? Now you go home. It's over. Take care of yourself, Alyssa. Thank you. For what? For believing me. For everything. It's just doing my job. <laughs>